children Hi. good afternoon uh it's another sunday and it's time to learn at the feet of jesus let's do a quick prayer Jaba, let's pray In jesus name. amen thank you lord for my mom amen and, and the rest of the children amen and for the comfort amen and for, and for the home and for the rest of the people in general Amen. 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 Father, as we want to read your word, please speak to us. Let the entrance of your word bring light and life unto us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So our topic today is the power of dominion. Who remembers what we learned last week? I think we learned something about joy. Do you remember? Yeah. It was something about joy. But you know, today we're talking about the power yeah, of dominion. Yeah. Who has power? Show me your power. Let me see your power. How big is your power? Yeah, the like power is really big. It's your own big. Yeah. And Jesus has the biggest power. And he wants you to know that and, you can and, have power. And his big power is the power of creation. Yes, that's one I, of his power. I learned that in my class. Wow. Inside the real school. Okay, okay. So quickly, let us do our memory verse. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19. Jaba? Yes. Luke 10, 19, say it. Luke 10, 19. Luke 10, 19. Luke 10, 19. Behold. Behold. I give unto you power. I give unto you power. To tread on snakes and scorpions. I tread on snakes and scorpions. To tread on snakes and scorpions. To tread on snakes and scorpions. And nothing. And all the powers of the enemy. No, no, and all the powers of the enemy. And all the powers of the enemy. And nothing. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. By the any means hurt you. Shall by any means hurt you. Shall by any means hurt you. Do you know the meaning of that memory verse? It means that Jesus has so much power that even snakes and scorpions cannot hurt you. When you have the power of Jesus. When you have what power? The power of Jesus. Jesus. Good. Our central truth is that Jesus wants you to know that you have power. He has power and he can give you the power. If you want to have the power of Jesus, what do you do? How do you actually have the power of Jesus? Who can who can tell me? That will be our activity for today. How me. can you have the power of Jesus? That power that can me. spread on snakes and scorpions. Tell me one. To ask Jesus if he can bring some of his power to you. Yes, Jesus has already said that he can give you the power. That is what we read already in our memory verse. Jesus has said that he can give us the words. Power. The word? Power. Your word? Power. Why do we even need power? Do you know? Yeah. Tell me. Be because we, we need to move for our, for our training or school okay. or, or, our, or to work in our office. Yes. We also need power to stay away from sin, not to sin against God. We need power. We need what? Power. We need what? power to okay. drive to to drive to we need power and to win the battles of life we and, need power and, and children need power to play and we need power to play yes we need power to also dominate so how do we have power how do we receive power the first thing is that we have to live holy we have to do what holy. meaning that we have to ask jesus into our hearts jesus has to be in your heart for you to get power if there's no jesus in your heart you cannot get the jesus power at all so you have to leave Jesus is in my heart. It's in your heart. Good. So it means you can get the power of Jesus. If you don't, if Jesus is not in your heart, you cannot get power. Okay. So we have to live holy. We have to believe in the Holy Spirit. We have to Sweet test for God's power. power. We have to ask in faith. We have to believe that we have the power and we have received the power. That is when we get the power. And yes, Jabba said if you need to sleep to get power too. So when you obey your mommy, when she says time to go to sleep, you can get physical power. And when you believe in Jesus and you act out what Jesus wants, you will get spiritual power. So, how many people want power today? Let me see your hand. Raise your hand if you want power. So if we're going to ask Jesus for power, we're going to do what? Ask Jesus for power. power. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, say amen. Lord Jesus, we come before you today. Amen. First of all, we're asking that you forgive our sins Amen. and you make us holy. Amen. And we also ask there, Lord, that you give unto us your power, the power to tread on snakes and scorpions like you have promised us. Father, give unto us power. 
and let your power dwell in us. Help us to be humble in using the power. That we use the power to bring people to you. We use the power to make you happy. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Okay, so as I see you next week, I want you to tell me the things you can do with power and how you can get power from God. Bye. Jamal, what will you say to your friends? Bye.